the heck is that? I have no clue. There's Jerome Bettis autograph. Oh, what's that? There's two autographs? Hey everybody, how we doing today? Robert Zaba, auctioneer extraordinaire here with Second Sense Auction, guys. And you'll see in front of me, this is some of the Lionel stuff. And in this video, I'm going to dig through a little bit of the stuff I got from the train unit. Next video, we'll probably go through some more stuff that all the Zippos we had. But guys, I just want to kind of show you what I got. And also, later in this video, I buy a unit in Pittsburgh. I drive, I don't even know, two some hours go to Pittsburgh and actually I split a unit for five dollars so you guys gotta see this unit was it worth splitting and why do we split in the first place you'll see and once again this lying now stuff guys if you haven't subscribed I don't know what you're waiting for subscribe hit that bell get your notifications you guys don't know what you're ever gonna see like this I bought this unit for $225 and right in front of me this could be $800 to $1,000 worth of stuff easily, guys. Lionel stuff. i seen the Ferris wheel sell anywhere between $250, $300, all the way up to $350. These pieces all easily, $200, $200, $200. The scrambler, the balloon ride, the swing ride. So take a look. Look them up, guys. And once again, Lionel stuff is really easy to look up, okay? Right here. See this number? You type in Lionel and just that number, this will pop up. Right here, there's a number, guys. Right here, there's a number right here. So, real easy to do, and why now? If you get an engine, on the side of the engine, there's a number. Type it in, it's gonna bring it right up. Get all the information, you can find out when it was built, what year, and what it's worth. And remember guys, don't look at listings that people have, look at sold listing, guys. If you wanna make money, that's how you make money in this business, and it's all about making money. If you wanna buy and resell, and if you just look at what people are asking, you might get tricked into buying something that you might think is worth a lot more money because people ask a lot of money out there, but you look, they never sell, okay? So look at sold listings on eBay, guys. That's how you make money in this business. And I'm gonna go through this train box here because we never got to dive into it. I don't know exactly how much money in there, but I know this unit, I paid $225. I'm gonna make a lot of money. This box here was the big surprise. The box is so heavy. We thought maybe a lawnmower was in it, guys, but this is the one we never got to go through. I just kind of pulled out some of it and dug down a little bit, but we're gonna go through this whole box. And man, I want you guys to help help me out there figure out what is. Oh my gosh! I didn't even know this was three pieces. I never even pulled this one out. Look at this. Three piece set. One powered unit, two dummy units, K-Line. That's a nice, nice set. And if you guys don't know, dummy units they don't have the engine in them, and people use them, they like, you know, they'll put two engines together, they, you can pull it, they can use it for display piece, all kind of different stuff. Oh man, that's heavy. So, on the bottom here, this is a Lionel chassis system. Right here, guys. Always money. And I'm trying to find a number on here. There was a sticker on the side of the box. See, that sticker has been removed. So let's open it up and see what's inside. We know it's money. Doesn't want to come out, Shane. It's been in there so long. Turn it this way. It's stuck in there. Like it's never been used. That's an 8632 guys, Lionel engine. Look it up, 8632. And I don't know what it's worth. I, I'll have to look it up myself, but wow. And 
this whole box, guys, was loaded. And once again, I was like the only person that's seen it. See, there's something up here, but this part's empty. So there's like an engine that goes in here. And guys, there's all these cars. We're gonna get all these out. This is kicked up. There you go. Right there's money. Here's like a line of trestle, little bridge. If you guys are asking what's the wristband, that's because I went and played miniature golf, went go karting today with the kids. Spring break fun. I should have took Shane and Chachi and Magic Mike. But they would probably run me off the go kart track. Man. Guys, these are nice. Shane, this might be a K line. Oh, I might go into. Never know. Have to look it up. Could go into the side there. That's like for a semi truck. That's an engine for a car. Oh, this one's cool. Spotlight. Got the spotlight. And the spotlight works, guys. When you plug this in and have it running down the track, the spotlight will come on. Here's a little water tower. Here's a coal car. These, all, these ones look like K-Line. There's Lion now. We got a little bit of everything. And this is just the stuff on top and everything else in this box is in the boxes, guys. But, I mean, you add this up and this up, we're probably, and all the stuff on the table right here, you're probably close to the unit price of 220 Oh, wow. Oh, that's a really cool piece. So, what like, stuff sits on top of this, the trailer train. So, you never know, like something like Maybe not that piece, but we'll find it. As there's so many cars in here, and each of these cars we'll put in lots. We'll separate them out. Oh my gosh. I just can't believe how many trains. I forgot. We, we never got a chance to really go through the box. We like opened it up, dug in it a little bit. And this is just all the stuff that's not in boxes, guys. And you look down in there. Everything else in here is all in Boxes. Not even halfway and in. Guys, this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Oh, wow. So we'll clear out a little space here and we'll go through this whole box. Man, so this box here, Barry pulled out some nice trains right here. And I don't know how K line, they're not like Lionel, Lionel, big money. I saw this in here. Just thank you for coming to see us at the 1995 Toy Fair K Line. So that might have been a special train. We'll have to look for that train. It could be worth more money because it was maybe it was just a given away at the Toy Fair exclusive, you know. So let's see what we got in here. Oh, scale guys. And these they're gonna say like probably on the side. See, there's an item number right here. It says block, black, hot, metal, car. So that's two, three. Look, this looks like the same one. Three of those right now. Man, look at these. Four. This is a different style train. This one's empty. Another twin pack. So it's two twin packs and a three pack, guys. So when you look these up, you know, that's what you have to look at. It says Alcoa Airy Double A, two one two nine and two one three one, K twelve one nineteen. You know, so these two packs going to be worth more than just a single. Man, look at this one. Wow. Chesapeake, Ohio, K-Line. Powered B unit with diesel horn. So just in K-Line trains, guys, and everything else in here, makes line out. Big, big money. I should have right here. Atlantic Coastline SD18 diesel engine. And engines are where the money's at, guys. The cars are all worth money. But every engine, is, especially Lionel, this engine here could be a hundred, could be three hundred dollars. We'll look it up. Look at here's the car, Chesapeake, Ohio. Here's 
another one, Chesapeake, Ohio. Passenger car. This is great. Another uh, combo car. Combo car. So we got the combo car, the passenger car, and these all light up inside. There's little silhouettes of people inside the car. A little observation car. So that's a three car set right there. And I know those are always money. Here's another one. Here's the uh, the Chessy Club car. All right, so that's four piece set. Here's another one. So he's got every car there was. Aluminum passenger car, so that's another passenger car. There's an engine on top of this one. And this is Lionel. So like I said, guys, remember, 8463 Lionel engine. It'll pop right up. It doesn't have the box, though. Another one. This is the uh, the kitchen, the Gatsby kitchen car. All right, here's the date, 1996. Wow. So is this is this what we're looking for? The Chesapeake, Ohio engine, guys. So you have in the box a five car set with the engine six. So. And it's in there, guys. There's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. And you can look up that number right there, 618834. Well, let's take a look at this thing. So, guys, don't forget, you're going to take a look at the auction that Conky and I went to. Five bucks for a unit. Conky Flippin' Adventures. Take a look at that, guys. And, man, this unit was a money maker. And I'm going to show you a little bit in depth because people want to see more of the stuff. So I'm going to try to show you guys a little bit more in depth of some of the other units. And once again, if you haven't subscribed, subscribe. Hit that bell, guys. And take a look and watch the other video, the rest of this. And right there's the engine. Crispy in the box with the plastic. Appreciate everyone out there. And wait till you see what we get for five bucks. Guys, we're heading downstairs in the elevator. This it goes like four floors underneath ground. Dave just got the steal of the day, but it's two hours away. That was nice to him today. What are you okay. going to do with all that stuff, Dave? Let's go find out what Dave bought. $50. It all. He's yeah, got 60 it. bucks in those two units. I think he might make out today. If you guys ever want to get lost, go to a public storage. Or if you want to open a haunted house. Here's 3022. Must be this back. Marco! Hello! Marco! <laughs> I gotta get ready for summertime in the pool, Conky. Has <laughs> anybody dropped any breadcrumbs right Public storage always likes to maze units places. <laughs> 32, right here. You know what this guy reminds me of? Is that U? 3206. U Haul. It's down here. This is the 20 foot one. No, this is the big one. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, are you ready to see what's behind door number one? Whoa, he's teasing us. There goes the blocks. Oh, there goes the blocks. Wow. Yeah, it's, it might be a little bit bigger than I thought. I should have Holy brought smoke. my old light. It's in the car. Wow. Oh, there's a light inside. Holy yeah, smoke. With a ramp. Don't you got a ramp? You got a lift oh, look. This is what this is. My card. He said I could have the iPhone. charges, but this probably is outdated. IPhone. Probably all outdated. iPod and iPhone. Holy smoke. Yeah, look at it. It's really outdated. Yeah. yeah, but you know what? Here. They got to be worth scrap. This one's not outdated. Those aren't there. cheap. That's a, that's a universal energy cell. You probably get four or five bucks a piece on it. All right, Dave. There's my charger you said I can have. Oh, look at that. Docking stations. I still don't know how many people use the docking stations anymore. Well, it's charging phone. And this is what this stack is. Clutch cosmetic bag. Oh, uh. Rocket fish, 
have a laptop AC power adapter. All right, Dave, open some totes. That's all. These are like... Look at this. Brand new scarves. This one here says cold weather sets. This guy must have been a wholesaler. Something. Looks like sweatshirts or something? T-shirts? Cold weather sets. Oh, maybe they're, they're gloves, gloves. Hats it's and mittens. And scarves. Wrong season. But everyone's having different stuff. That's good. Brand new bags. Kitchen and home outlet LLC. Twelve bucks a piece. Holy smoke, Dave! It's fifty dollars. Oh, there's something back there. Hats. Hats. Well, it looks like you're going to be in the apparel line for a little bit. Yep, more of the clutch bags. Twelve bucks each. Half off sale, Dave's. That's just a dresser. Brand new dresser. This you box. looked in, right? You did? Yeah, those, those are the uh, docking stations. Fry pods. Holy smoke. Totes are the best thing, let's be honest. Yes. More of the docking. Those are really nice totes. And being inside, you got no dirt or dust and all this stuff. More, more docking. High power universal adapters. More of the same, right? These are for your car, but universal at least. Car power adapter. There's definitely money. Here, you can have. I don't want those. I want one of these, man. Some of these. Here, Conk, you want a couple of these? Conk, you want a couple of these? Yeah, Oh, sure. Another dock. All these are docking. I'm just taking one box, Dave. Take it. One of 10 different DC plugs. I mean, have a whole case. Whole case, man. He's trying to help me make me carry more stuff, but I can't put buy anything at the next no, place. I mean, hey. I'm messing with you, Dave. <laughs> man, this I one's mean, a lot lighter. I appreciate it. Look at this fifty dollar deal right here. These though. are a little different. Did you see this engine out here? This is a Honda. Honda twenty four V. I go charger. It comes with batteries. That might be a little nicer. Universal. That's what's in there. This I'll is, look it up for you, Dave. Rob, this has to be a market for these. Did you just sell these whole case? What you need to do is just sell all these pallets. Then. Sell the whole thing. They're already wrapped. You're like, listen, there's whatever. Pallet, 500 bucks. You must have had a forklift to bring all this in here. At least a pallet jack. I can get a pallet jack. I got one of them. It's an easy move, though, with the pallet jack. It's like one, two, three, but four, But then you five. still got to unwrap them when you get to your truck. Because oh. he ain't going up the ramp. You got a lift gate? No. <laughs> Dave got this one for $10. I don't know why he said 10 He should have got it for 5 Yeah. He's in that money. But who knows? You got close. $5 on this drive isn't going to be any big difference. Not anymore. Not when you... Is that the jewelry box right here? That's part of a jewelry box. That means they dumped all the jewelry down here, Dave. Oh, darn. Look, there's another part of a jewelry box. Uh, I'm going in there. Not far. I'm just going to peek in there. Just see, see if there's any jewelry in the box. Nope, that's the whole jewelry box, though. Well, close. Oh, it's all purses and wallets and bags. You'll be all right. All right, ladies and gentlemen, Conky and uh, Second Sense. I don't know what we're thinking, but $5, we drove to Pittsburgh, and we're trying to take everything out of this unit right here. You think it's any good, I guess. I don't know. Let's see so, what's... we got tons of brand new stuff right here. What's in these boxes, Conky? I don't know. Let's find out. I knew this was new stuff. With the... Some kind of light. This is some sort of a. Ooh, that's heavy. So that's what it looks like. Part of it. This is, there you go, Conky. Oh, nice. That must be what this is. Candle? Is it for a candle? Yeah, it's a candle thing. Check that out. 
Yeah. Cool. Somehow that goes on there. But that's like crystal candle. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of those. Eight brand new ones. You can buy them at Conky Flipping Adventures. Um, Ready okay, to ship. So this is a front gate easy bed. Not exactly sure. Apparently. It's got some weight to it. I'm going to take its word for it though. Yeah, I'm going to try to figure out what this thing is. So this is an easy bed. It's got wheels. Whoa! Oh, see that? We didn't need the car. We got that on wheels. Oh, I see. There's some. Five dollars. Okay. I don't know if that's really easy or not. <laughs> oh, you plug it in and yeah. it, it uh, that's a little airs up. Airbed. Okay. I don't know how much easier that really is. <laughs> <laughs> but they're just having a real bed. I don't know. <laughs> All right. You gonna put this on flipping adventures? You can ship that, Conky. Um, okay, I might have to take that one. Yeah, off at the auction. We'll see. What do we got here? Plastic, uh, old plastic plates. Those are called chargers. Chargers. Yes. So what they do is they put those down on the table, usually if there's white tablecloths, ah. and you put the plate on top of that Perfect. when you serve them. And so, these must be. Oh, whatever's in here. Conkey's candle. Conkey's flipping candles. I think they, yeah. Are they smelly ones? I don't know. They smell. No. Nope. I think we have more candles here. Same thing? No. Oh, those are fancier. Look at those. So I'm thinking these people are like weddings or something. Might be, yeah. That would explain the bed. Put the wedding ready for reception. Take the candle away. Mixing and this thing. Must blow balloons or something. Yep, I just let it do. Or well, you could use an air compressor. Well, I think it's more, maybe the more of those crystal things. Some kind of like pillow or something on you. Bride to be. More glass. What kinds of glass? Umbrella. We have uh, a couple of, is this a TV? So look at these guys. Brand new umbrellas, yes. Scratched up TV. Flat screen TV right here, right now. What do you give it now? With these 7500? I don't know what that even says. What do we got? What is that? Priv collection. Whatever this would say. It's a V neck. Oh, okay. Priv collective. Collective? That's different. All right. Let's see what's in this box. Is that an autograph? Ho ho! What is that? Oh, it's Pittsburgh Steelers, but it's autographed. Is that Jerome Bettis or something? Um, I don't know. Look on the back. Oh, so a lot of times it'd be a COA. It's definitely an autograph, though. There's a whole seal there. It's going to be on Conky's Flippin' Adventures. Okay, personal stuff. The box. Oh, come on now. Let's see what's in the box. Oh. oh. That doesn't look right. Proper nut. Okay. And Pittsburgh stuff. stuff. And stuff. And yeah, more. Um, imagine it being. Pittsburgh. Oh, there's a bag down there. What? A bag right there. Bag. Yeah, right there. Is that a CD case? Yeah, I think that's a CD case. It probably has Pittsburgh related CDs in it. Like stuff you'd listen to in Pittsburgh. No. What is that? Shoe shine kit. Ooh, check that out. It's got a little brand new shoe shine kit. Mm. That's kind of cool. Nice, nice. For shining your shoes, I guess, on your mm -hmm. wedding day? Yes. Um, Remington, I guess set. you need a shave on your wedding day, too. Ooh. Yeah, must be. A little grooming set? Yeah. Looks like a brand new. Well, I wonder if there's any wedding rings in here. I hope so. That'd be nice. Uh, oh. Some uh, fabric swatches. Brizzo. I guess. Huh. Never seen anything like that. Okay. Well, let's see. We have other boxes here. More unboxing. Oh, this is just more wedding table stuff. I think. Wedding. Well, no, we got some crafty type stuff in here. There you go. So just stuff for doing crafts. So shiny. Shiny. Oh, we might be able to figure out something to do with this. What is that? Is anybody getting married soon? 
Oh, you know what this is? This you would drape over like a... Oh, the like top of an arch. Yeah. It's probably the arch topper. Yeah. I don't know. Some of this stuff might actually... It all has value, Conky. Yeah. You just got to find something to buy it. You know, I was looking for a gold ring. You found one? I found a gold ring. Oh, look at that. He found... And it, it's even sticky on the back. Oh, wow. In case you wanted to stick it to something. Nice. There's another one. All right. Five dollars, oh, Conky. Five dollars. Are you going to make five bucks back? Can I make five dollars back? I think, I think five dollars is going to be easy to make off of this. Oh, this TV works or not? Well, I bet you it works. It's still got the, the plastic stuff on it. See? I don't think it's as bad as it looks. I think that's going home. It's got the stand. A big bag of... Conky, you have someone calling you? Close. Has somebody calling me? Close. And a tote with either a monitor or another TV. Let me look. What do we got in here? We got a keyboard. Microsoft keyboard. Ooh. A nice Dell monitor. No, it's like the one that just burned out. Oh, I just released the thing. Hang on. Don't get the little catches on the back. It falls apart if you do that. Alright, so that's that. It's nice tote, though. Yeah, nice tote. Anyway. So is the computer built inside of that monitor? Or is it have a No, I think it's just the just the monitor. monitor. Yeah. It's got a monitor, TV, printer. A little copier printer over there. What's this? This has got to be a book of some sort. Feels like a book. No, it's Executive Valet of Pittsburgh. So those are like flyers. There's something. I wonder if there's anything different in here. Is it more paper? Yeah. Look at this. Gold rings? No, better. That can't be better than gold rings. Blank checks. Woo! That one says boy down, though. Oh, it doesn't? The rest of them are probably good. Let's see if the rest of them are really good. You going to write me a check today? There you go. I'll write to that one. It doesn't say void on it. Ooh, I'd take it right to fifth third and cash it. Yep. I'm sure it's good. Awesome. All right. They didn't pay their unit, but they got money in their bank account. What else we got in here? Ooh. Ooh. That is fancy. That looks like some kind of award, it maybe. It says some sort of uh, golf tournament third place, inaugural event, Diamond Run Golf Club. Wow, fancy. That's neat. Crystal golf ball there. Just got to get it re-etched, put conkeys. Yeah. Conky's flipping adventures on me. Yeah. This is a. Well, there's the computer. The oh, that, oh, is that the computer? A little dial on there for some reason. I think that's the speaker. Maybe. Subwoofer. Oh, this is just a. Yeah, and the bottom it has, a, it on has it. the two speakers with it. So See? that's not a computer. Nope. You got the Check subwoofer and a pair of speakers. Oh, well, that's coming handy. Nice computer. Boom, 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 boom. Yeah, there's like a center speaker here and a couple of. Oh, that'd be nice. I didn't know Dell made speakers. All right, what do we got in here? We have looks like brand new caps. Yeah. Tags on them. Savoy restaurant. restaurant. Savoy restaurant. Oh, looks like stuff that might be. More comfortable in the dumpster than in my car going home with me. I don't know what it, some of this stuff is. But blessed blessed or cursed? Or cursed. Yeah. Is this unit blessed or cursed? I don't know. Well, we'll find out once we get more into it. Okay, some CDs. All right, what else for you? Uh, ooh, ties. On YouTube, I have to do a how to tie a tie video. Okay, let me hold your camera. You got it? Yeah, it's always better to. All right. I just broke your camera. <laughs> nope. It's tough. I think the battery's still on the back of that, isn't it? No. No, where the battery is? Office stuff. Take a look. Yeah, I don't know if it'll be Office furniture. Yeah. Yeah, the yeah. other one's got a ton of little stuff on it, but I don't know what it is. Yeah, big stuff's gonna be tough. What the heck is that? Just a table? <laughs> oh, that's probably legs for something. No oh, good. Let's take a look. Holy smoke, Ola. It's like they put all the garbage in here. Cardboard? Yeah, this is all from the construction guy. Oh, okay. Yeah, we'll you yeah, see the one? Might be something nice in here. Probably not, though. Mm -hmm. Post, Conky. Yeah, you guys take your time, go through it. Best thing looks like the chair. This is. What 
Yeah, how good is that? I have no clue. Yeah. It's got a, a Wi-Fi thing on it, a credit card reader. Self storage, beyond self storage. Yeah, that's funny. It's got to be worth something. We have to take that thing, Conky. Take a look at it. I think you're supposed to be able to pay your. That's what I'm thinking. Your uh, storage bill with it. I should be able to sell that thing. Somebody. I have people come. They can pay their, their for the, their uh, auction. There you go. Outside, and then yeah. the door opens, and then here's your stuff. <laughs> yeah, so this is a nice chair too. But I get chairs too often. Oh, it is a nice chair though. You got this thing that goes up and down? Yeah, uh, something's wrong with it. Oh, okay. oh it's missing a wheel. wheel but it's not a nice chair. Not as nice as we thought. Alright, guys, we got the kiosk. And, uh. I don't see anything else. What's that? It's, that's probably the power supply for the kiosk. You think so? That is. Why you turn on that? You check that box. This is all just looks like just cardboard. Empty cardboard. Good cardboard box. Okay. What's in here? And some pallets. Ooh. Oh, have a pretzels. Ooh. Without mouse wrappings. Ooh. I want the one on the left. <laughs> Alright guys. We found the uh, brand new Nike golf bag. Conky just found, what did you find in the box? A brand new what kind of shirt? It was, I found some sort of a Steeler shirt over here. Steeler shirt? Yeah. Look at ladies and gentlemen. Brand new Steeler shirt. We already found the Steeler's it's autograph. There's a tag on it. And there's something in there. With the, we're going to find some Steeler stuff in here. I just know it. And then look at this, Conky. Brand new. Look at this. They're curtain rods or what? No, I would say they're uh, for blinds. I'm mean, not blinds, curtains. Yeah, curtain rods. Why am I saying curtains? Yeah, they're curtain rods. You need some new curtain rods? I don't know. I don't think so. There's Jerome this autograph. Oh, what's that? There's two autographs? Two autographs. Is that Ben? Big yep. Ben Roethlisberger? Yep. Wow, right there, ladies and gentlemen, a $5 unit. That's why you can still make money today you just got to go out sometimes sometimes you got to drive a couple hours one way then another couple hours home